Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and and that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the long, uh, Lashwan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists, Bahashem means in the name, Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Yahweh Shai means He is the Savior, He is the Deliverer. Bahashim in the name, Raka Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught me the truth, and peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you, brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the sincere Akim Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters. That may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Al Rashad. This is the brother Taza War Bon Aparium from the GMS Boston came back with a quick lesson through the spirit, and I pray everything's edifying. And I have a couple articles, um, and uh, one's from um, RT, and the head the heading reads: Russia and China launch joint military drills. See, and this is the time that we're in, man. That the Lord has set up these kings. You know, of these militaries and, and, and people in high places, mainly in the East, to get prepared for war, man. And this is major prophecy according to the scriptures. We know here that um, uh, before the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh comes back to establish order and establish a new, uh, new heaven and new earth, which dwelleth righteousness. You know, we, we know that uh, tribulation must come, bad times, uh, judgment, plagues of the Heavenly Father. You know, removing of Esau Edom and his power structure. Esau Edom is the uh, is the biblical nationality of the so-called white man or so-called white race. You know, uh, removing uh, these other nations as well, uh, being brought into captivity. And um, ultimately, the Lord is going to uh, deliver his elect of Israel, you know, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to ult ultimately be uh, rulers of this new heaven and new earth. Which is going to be uh, here uh, This new heaven Which is going to be here on earth You know But the, the downfall of Babylon A.K.A. America Must take place man You know uh, It's going to be America is going to be Utterly destroyed With this upcoming war You know World War Three. It's inevitable It's prophesied It's prophetic in the scriptures You know We know that Again Jacob's trouble must come uh, Chaos uh, the R the RFID microchip, the C hip, the, that which is the MOTB that's spoken about in Revelations, the 13th chapter, it has to be made mandatory. And then we know, you know, th these these missiles are gonna have to be shot from one end to the earth. So we wish we're 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 um we're we're days closer, man. We're closer and closer until prophecy being fulfilled. And that's what our job is to do, man. The Lord gave us this light, this wisdom and understanding, you know, the servants, the prophets to, to speak the words of prophecy, you know, and that's the true testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So we're telling you, we're warning you of these things. The Lord has made us a prophet. So we're here to give warning. So before I get into the article, since I said that, let me start with um, Ezekiel 3 and 17. And it reads. Uh, son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. See, so the Lord has made the the, the seer, the prophet, or watchman, to the, the 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 authority to speak the words of prophecy into the house of Israel, man, because He put His words in our mouths, man, and we're giving you warning, man, to get right and repent, man, and forsake uh, this uh, this world, man, because it's, it's soon going to be. Utterly destroyed, mainly America, but uh, this 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 power structure that's in in Helm right now is is it's in it's harvest nothing but wickedness, iniquity, and and uh, unrighteousness. And the Lord is about to bring judgment upon the whole earth, as according to Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter. But the main judgment or the the icing of the cake is the destruction of Babylon the Great, and the mystery of Babylon the Great is. America, man, and again, we have the oracles of the Ha'abashim Shah to speak these things because he put his words in our mouths that America soon is about to be utterly destroyed. Doom and gloom is coming, man, and with these articles that, you know, apostles and bishops and elders and brothers on down from Great Millstone uh, uh, bring out just shows that we have a job, a duty, again, 
to give warning, to measure the time diligently, to be circumspect, to be occupied in prophecy and give you warning. We're, we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We are the news anchors, so to say, for Israel, you know, the true Hebrew Israelites, man, to get right and repent, man. The Lord is about to bring judgment and, and, it's, and it's coming. It's at hand. So hey, the Lord said he made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we're giving you warning from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's our duty. That's our task. The prophets, that's the true testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. So the prophets are going to speak. Words of prophecy. And and uh, let me get Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So we're prophesying about a great kingdom, uh, which is America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. It's it's uh, great in nothing but wickedness and confusion and iniquity. And we're prophesying against it of war and of evil. Bad times that's coming. Pestilence, plagues, famines. Destruction, death, misery, that's what's coming because that's just all a part of the scriptures, man. It's all in the scriptures, and that's the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So our job is to give you warning. You know, he's going to put his words in, 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 in our mouths. Second Ezra 15 and 1 Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I'll put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So that's why we're here to prophesy, man, that the Lord's about to bring plagues upon the earth, the world, excuse me, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And Yahweh Shai left these signs and wonders and clues of what's going to take place in these latter days, man, before his second coming, man. Here, Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, what, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For, the, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. See, so this is what's taking place, man. The stage is being set for ultimately the beginning of sorrow. We're, we're, we're in the beginning of sorrows, man. But ultimately the stage is being set for uh, the end of Esau Edom's rulership, his world, you know, his heaven. And a major sign, as, as I have here highlighted in green, you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what's going on and it's taking place uh, throughout the world, man. So these articles, you have Russia, you got China, North Korea, India, Iran, so on and so forth. You got all these countries out in the east getting prepared for war. And they're, they're doing these strategic uh, military drills and, and, and you know, and, and um, because they're getting prepared for World War Three, you know. And ultimately, this is all prophetic. It's, it's in the scriptures. World War Three is going to take place. And it's going to be all nuclear. It's going to be by thermonuclear missiles. Real quick. I know I said I was going to get into the article. But um, was it Revelations um, 14 and 11, I believe? Nope, nope, nope. 11 and 14. Yep. Revelations 11 and 14. And it reads, the second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So World War One and World War Two already passed. It's already been, it's already in, 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 uh, in history. As an event, and woe also is destruction, man. But you know, in this scripture, it's talking about World War One, World War Two is is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So that third world war is 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 on the horizon. We're on the brinks of it, and the Lord is setting up these kings and militaries to get prepared, doing strategic drills and uh, military nuclear drills, ultimately getting prepared for the battle because it's going to take place because it's prophetic. Uh, Revelations 9 and 12 One woe is past One woe is past And behold There comes two woes more hereafter So we know that World War 3 is, is is the last woe The last war to end all war man 
There's nothing in the scriptures that talk about on, uh, on a fourth or fifth, you know. So this is the war uh, that is, is going to take place. And again, we're in the brinks of it. And Yahweh Shai left those signs, as I read in Matthew, the 24th chapter, to, to, for his disciples, ultimately for the servants, the prophets here in these days to be occupied and to give warning and to prepare Israel, man, to get right and repent. You know, to seek the Lord before the evil days draw nigh because it's going to come. Prophecy is going to be fulfilled. You know, um, what's that? Habakkuk. So lucky. I know I said I was going to go into the article, but I'm just, just rolling through the spirit right now. Um, Habakkuk 2 verse um, verse 3. And it reads, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So this vision, again, is these prophecies, man. It's for an appointed time. And we know we in the time of the end, man. You know, and it says at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So there's nothing that uh, you can do to upset or, 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 or cancel these prophecies. Everything has to be fulfilled. The end has been declared uh, from the beginning And the end is now being made manifest And we can see it Because the Lord gave us these signs and wonders He gave us this light, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding The vision ultimately to, to see these things, man And this is why we are seers, man Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yah Shai To give you warning that it's time to get right, man Because how we measure the time diligently How we are circumspect how we occupied in prophecy is by uh, obviously understanding what is written in the scriptures because they're faithful and true as according to second as the 15th chapter, but also realizing what's going on around the world with current events, with these news articles. This is how we measure the time diligently and we filter uh, uh, these events and articles through what is said in the, in, in, in the scriptures, man, and through prophecy, man. So we're one step closer. The stage is being set. World War Three is inevitable. Doom and gloom is coming to America, man. You know, and 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 um, plagues is coming throughout the world because the Lord said it. You know, He said He's gonna bring the plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So a lot of great miseries is gonna come on the earth, man. So it behooves you Israelites, again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to get right and repent and seek after your true living power, your living God, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not Allah, it's not Jehovah, it's not your Lord, it's not Jesus. You know, those are, are, are false names or idols, man. Your true living power is Yahweh and his, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, man. That's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, man. So it, it's, it's important time to, to, to seek him, man. Do not tarry, man. You know, do not put off from day to day. Once you hear these warnings... These epistles, these lessons, it should behoove you to, 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 to light a match under your ass and seek the Lord ten times more, man. But let's get into it, man. Uh, RT.com, and it reads, the heading is uh, Russia and China launch joint military drills. Uh, Russia and Chinese naval forces have started joint exercises in the Pacific, the defense ministry in Beijing said on Sunday. The three-day maritime joint 2024 drills are being conducted near the Chinese city of Zhenjinan. Uh, uh, so if, forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, they will travel naval forces' ability to address security threats, maintain international and regional stability, and boost the strategic partnership, according to the statement. The fourth joint maritime patrol in the western and northern Pacific Ocean conducted on Sunday did not target a third party and had nothing to do with current international and regional situation, it added. Two vessels from Russia Pacific Fleet are participating in the annual event the TASS, or T-A-S-S, -S, reported on Monday, citing the fleet's press office, crews will conduct air defense exercises and drills involving anti-submarine uh, uh, aviation, as well as resupplying on the move and sea rescue training. So again, these drills, these um, trainings, you know, these, these um, um, you know, these maneuvers, so to say, these exercises, joint exercises, is ultimately being prepared for war. They're getting, making sure that that they're able to execute uh, 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 the the ability to to to, to protect the, the air, the sea. You know, ultimately they they're trying to protect their regime, man. 
you know, but not knowing that Yahweh got them in a trick bag, you know, that he, this is the, the, the Lord's will ultimately to remove uh, Esau, Edom out of power, destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, and remove all your militaries and your armies and destroy them and remove the power seats from all these heathen nations. And ultimately set up the elect of Israel, man. So this is all the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So the stage is being set for World War Three, man. The chess pieces are being moved on the board, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is on both sides of the chessboard moving these pieces. I got another article from Routers, and the heading reads: Russia conducts mobile nuclear missile launch drills, and this is earlier this month from July fifth. Uh, Russia Defense Minist uh, uh, Ministry said on Friday it was conducting drills involving Yar Yars mobile nuclear missile launchers less than a month after it held tactical nuclear weapons deployment exercises along the ally Belarus. So we've been telling you, again, starting from the apostles, you know, and bishops and elders and brothers on down, that this upcoming war is going to be fought by thermal nuclear missiles. The prophets of old describe them as arrows being shot from one end to the earth, man. Those arrows in the scriptures are, are these ICBM missiles, man. So the stage is being set. The Lord is putting these pieces in order and place and preparing these uh, 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 heathen nations for war, man. Ultimately for the uh, the, the valley of Yahweh Shapat, the Most High's decision or the Most High's judgment, man. This is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's will, man. And again, we understand this, man, because we have the true testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. The Lord is dealing with the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and brothers on down from Great Millstone, man. Got the true, 100% truth and occupying in 100% in, in prophecy, man. And we get this, man. We understand these things, man. And World War III is inevitable. We've been telling you that. It's time to repent. Let me get that. Since I read that article, let me get a Joel 3 and 9. And it reads, Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. You know, so the Lord got these Gentiles being prepared for war, man. Letting all men of war draw near. Getting uh, assembled. Gear up. Doing these strategic uh, drills and uh, employments, you know, the, the 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 Lord the Lord got these nations ready, man. Because ultimately, we know Yahweh Bashem Al Shai controls the minds, or which is the heart, which is the you know the mind of these kings and rulers, man, to get prepared for war. It says, "Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears." We know plowshares and pruning hooks are agriculture or farming tools, and he's and it's telling them to now invest in your military arsenal, your military might. Uh, invest in your nuclear weapons, man, to get prepared for uh, a, a, a big battle, huge battle, you know. And again, I use uh, uh, these the, uh, the basketball or sports sports analogy in general. You know, when when teams do drills, scrimmages, or practices, they're perfecting their their play to be prepared for that game or for that you know for that battle. And it's just like here in war. You know, the Lord has these armies doing these strategic drills or joint military nuclear drills to get them prepared for the ultimate Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's uh, uh, decision, man. Uh, uh, the, the Valley of Yahweh Shapat or Amagar one, you know, uh, and, and according to Revelations, man, the Mountain of Troops, man. So he's, he's got these other nations doing these practices, so to say, or these scrimmages or these military drills ultimately for World War Three, man. And all these other nations that were considered weak are uh, are now capable of having this ICBM missile, these nuclear missiles. And they all have a common enemy. The common enemy is Babylon the Great. Voila, which is America, man. So this is why America is going to be utterly destroyed by them thermonuclear missiles because the Lord had created... Matter of fact, I'll get that. The Lord... This is His will. But the Lord created the Smith. What's that? Isaiah... Uh, was it Isaiah 
54, Isaiah 54 and 16, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument of his for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. The modern day uh, smith is these new is these scientists, man, that created the the technology, the coordinates for and the power, uh, uh, you know, to to create these nuclear missiles, man. And it's so to me, uh, uh, it's an instrument of, from Yahweh Hashem Shai to bring in the destruction. Of Esau Edom, man, the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. And we know that this war is gonna be fought with fuels of fire. The arrows is gonna be shot from one end to the earth. Isaiah 9, verse 5, and it reads, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this battle, this war, this third world war. This third woe, as according to Revelation, them two verses I read in Revelation, is going to be with burning and fuel of fire through them instruments, that's them ICBM missiles, which the prophets seen them as arrows, man. And the stage is being set. You know, all these uh, weaponry are, uh, are, that's been created are going to be used, man. There's not going to be none st stored or used for display or in a museum. No, the Lord's going to have it to, 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 to have all these armies shoot their arrows and, 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 and empty the clip, so to say, man. Go all out, man. This is his will. And we're here to tell you that we're one step closer through these articles, man. That World War Three is inevitable, man. You know, in America, doom and gloom is, is, is soon to come. So it behooves you, uh, you, again, you Israelites, to get right and repent, man. And don't and don't uh, uh, tarry. This is deadly serious, man. The Lord is is preparing the nations for war, and it's going to happen. Things is going to be fulfilled. Prophecies being fulfilled, man. So it behooves you to get right and repent, man. You know, we're measuring the time diligently. We're here giving you that warning. But if you don't want to take heed, hey, well, your blood. I mean, your blood is, is wiped off our hands. You're gonna die in your iniquity, man. If you don't take heed and, and, and repent and seek the Lord, you know, because this is going to be deadly serious. The Lord is about to bring serious judgment upon the earth, man. Them arrows, again, are going to be shot and going to be used. So it behooves you to get right and repent. Let me close out because I got to get back to um, get back to work. Where we at? Um, what is this? Second Ezra. No, let me close out with this. I know I close out the scripture with a lot of uh, lessons, but hey, it's so uh, profound. It's so uh, prevalent in these times, man. You should take heed to these warnings, man, and be serious, man. You know, you shouldn't tarry. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 7, Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's plain and simple, man. It's time to seek the Lord before the evil days draw nigh. The stage is being set. These articles, there's something always happening, you know. There's something always happening. And something major is going to happen. Uh, we feel through the spirit, man. You know, so it, it behooves you to stop pussyfooting, you know, stop lollygagging, stop being sluggish, and, and, and seek the Lord, man. Repent and be occupied in prophecy. Uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Rehearse the righteous acts and stay prayed up, man. You know, so with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf that would die, the house of David, the elect. And until next time, I want to say, Shalom.